how do we manage our financially who works more in the kitchen you or emma Good morning, mother, and also to our peanut. <laughs> ah! So today is the Q and A day. There are a lot of questions uh, that we are going to respond, right, peanut? See, we'll also respond some of the questions. Roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it. Yeah. All right, let's start a new vlog from here. Emma is busy making a breakfast. And which one is my coffee? And this one, the Big Mac. The big guy go with Big Mac. And this one for Emma. Hey, P. You want me to hold you? All you want is my phone. I know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are so excited to respond to all your questions. Okay, so hanging there as the day go by, we will respond one by one. Day, mother, we have a first question to pick. Okay, the question is: Is the peanut is her real name, or she have other name? She has another name. And peanut come from where? I don't know anyone word. who would name their kid peanut. Sorry to anyone out there who has, but. <laughs> and peanuts come from where? It's just a nickname. Yeah, so. And our full name is Paul Tule, Sabrina Mpum. All right, so our drugs is ready and we are ready to smuggle. So if anyone wants to buy, comment down below. I'm <laughs> just kidding, okay, this is medicine. This is Emma medicine. All right, so we have a very interesting question and this will be response from both sides, okay? But I will go first. The question said, what is life according to you? To me, life is very important first and life is a journey. And in that journey of my life, I will expect good and bad. That's life, right? That's a part of it. But yes, I do want to leave behind a very good legacy so that when I'm gone from this world and you know, from this flesh, I do want to you know, keep behind a good legacy for people. So that's something that I want to live my life, you know, and do good things and make people happy and do what I love to do and also be faithful in my own faith by believing in Jesus Christ. Yeah, that's life according to me. Let's hear from my wife now. What life according to you, Emma? Colossians 3.17 Why don't you read out the whole thing? Okay, I'll read out the whole thing. Colossians 3.17 And whatever you do, in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through Him. That's my final answer. Thank you for the question. I will drink a coffee again since I'm a big fan of coffee. Uh, this is cold. I have to warm it up. And I have another question. Actually, we have a lot of questions. Okay, some of the questions are similar, so I will not repeat the same. But with one answer, I will try to give everything. You know, the same question. Okay, let's warm this up first before I read your question. So the another question that we have. Wait. Okay. The question is, what do you like? to do when you are bored I don't know I guess what's Netflix actually I don't really get bored uh, I always have something to do in my life I'm a very restless person if you don't trust me you can ask Emma I have to do something I cannot sit quietly or you know be still I have to do something I'm very restless you know very restless person so I hardly get bored but I do get bored sometimes but I just watch Netflix when I'm bored I think that's all I can say and the coffee is ready <laughs> oh one more thing don't know if we should be mentioning your name but this question are not making up okay I am not sure if I should be mentioning your name because sometimes you know some people don't want the name to be mentioned so that's why I'm not mentioning your name all right so don't Take me wrong, but for the next time, if you guys want to be mention your name, do let us know, okay? Let's do another question here. So this question is, 
when are you going to buy a car i can't wait to see it in your vlog make sure to buy a safe car and i will pass this question to emma to respond when are we buying car honey whenever we can afford a car and do we have money for the car no no so yeah. yeah thank you we will someday we promise but i guess not now you promise yeah but not not tomorrow promise promise for in the future okay <laughs> and this question is for me jerry what job are you doing in Ceylon? well i am a husband i am also a father and i do youtube all right that's my job for now and yeah here and there we do a little bit of business hey mother did you put the baby down good job high five seriously what size to get now Should so get what are we doing now we are ordering trying. stuff for our, for our small business yeah um, so we are trying to order the packets again for our chai Maybe some of you know, or if you don't know, we have a Thai business. This Q&A, well, I should say this in the beginning, but anyway, uh, we already answered a few questions. There are still more, okay? But we'll vlog around like that, and this is how we do our normal day. So at the same time, we will pick a question and answer, all right? Can you go get the other chai packet that's in the kitchen so I can see it? Yes, mother. And our next question is... How does life change you after having a child? Well, life changed everything after having a child and I'll show you a demo, okay? This. Re-erasing all the toys that your kids play. That's how the life changed. <laughs> no, it does, but in other way, uh, I think one of the things that I can say is it changed your thinking. I don't think for myself anymore. Everything that I do, I don't think for myself. But I have to think for my family, also for my child. So I think that's changed. And also, we came just to hang out so that Sabrina can swing around. And on our way, we see Didi and she join us. Emma is enjoying her burger. I have my burger here. And we are going to continue to respond all your questions as much as we can here, right? Yeah. On our picnic. On our picnic, the family. <gasps> My tomato. Sorry about that. Okay, so the question here, how did you meet Emma? Uh, I met Emma on 2018 in Shillong. And then we got married on 2020, just before the pandemic hit. Okay, let's change the angle. Mother, you gonna look around the side. So the question that people have is how tall is your wife and how tall am i <laughs> so so we give them a demo a demo yeah i'll just stand and give them a demo and you guys can judge okay all right now my shoes are really tall okay now take a guess who is taller you have the answer now well, everyone knew we were taller, they want to know how tall we are. <laughs> Alright, so Emma is taller than me. I am 5 foot 8 and Emma is 5 foot 9. B, will you stop being cute? Okay, what's on your mouth? <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh, you, you have got a, a leaf in there! Ew! Yeah, enjoy your carrot. It's the animals! Enjoy your carrot! What is that? Animals? Oh, behind there? Yeah. yeah. What? Animals? Yeah, those animals. What it's, animals? It, not real animals. It's like a spinny thing. Ah. Oh. Okay, yeah. Yes. Uh, stand, stand. Stand. Oh. Do you know how old babies can say that? Bow, stand? Oh, no. Why did you throw a carrot? Die. Okay. Your sweet baby, okay? Like, Alright. Like I guess we will continue responding your question again. Nah, Ama. What? 
So did he someone Hi. say we have to do an interview with you? But I don't know how wise that is to do interview with Didi. So I'm, I'm sure she will not be willing to do that. But anyway, let's continue with our question day. So the next question is, when is baby peanut birthday? January 20th. January 20th, 2022. Yeah. And now, this is the most, the most and the most asked question, okay? When are we coming back to India? And in almost every vlog we have mentioned that we still don't know we are trying our best but it's just a matter of waiting to what mm. all of the papers are sent into the embassy no. <laughs> we are now waiting on it's just cute what's in thank you we are now waiting on India to give us our visas. Yeah. All, all of our work is done. Now they have to do their work. Yeah. So once the visa is ready for Emma and also for Peanut, we will come. Okay. And we will update about that once we are ready. Until then, we don't know. This question is a little tricky. It's said in one word, uh, but let me read out the question and I don't know how to respond. So I think Didi <laughs> will respond to that. Okay. <laughs> What is the greatest yeah, difference response. between India and USA? Explain in one word. I don't have an answer in one word. I think Didi has. I don't think you can answer that in one word. Didi, what was your answer? You want to say that again? Cows. There's uh, no cows here. There's no cows here. What do you mean? You have cows in the farm. Uh, Where are yeah, the cows not? But they're not in the middle of the road. That's true. So that's the... That's the main difference. That's the main difference. That there's no cows in the middle of the road so when you drive it's not uh, dangerous for you i guess that's the difference in one word cows okay emma we have another interesting question and this question is who works more in the kitchen you or emma me yeah she does more i do cook a lot if anything to do with chinese or indians then i cook more and Naga style as well, you but like any other foods, any other kitchen things, she like is the full food. in charge of our home. Okay, no, Chinese food is gross. really Chinese food are gross, or oh, Didi, what are you doing in this planet? <laughs> Chinese food is gross. No, go Chinese food for the all time favorite. Okay, all right, and now let's move on to the next question What is your biggest challenge being a father? A biggest challenge being a father is uh, two things. One is not providing for my family. Okay, that could be a biggest challenge. And another thing is, what if I die now? That's something that I, you know, uh, do think a lot. Not not being there for my wife and not being there for my daughter growing up. So I think that's the biggest challenge. As of now, you know, I'm still alive, so I'm fine. But it's something that makes me worry. What if? So I think that's the, I something that I do face a lot of challenges yeah, when I think about that. I'm going to respond to one more question from here. Uh, but before that, people are working there. So I don't know. It's going to be a little noisy. Should we continue or should we just wait until we get home? But let's try for this, okay? So this question is Emma. So somebody wrote this question and saying who talk more about family planning you or emma i'm just gonna say me yeah i think me because you're the housewife but i do contribute a lot as well but depending how many kids is it what the planning you're talking about i still talk more about it either way yeah it's still me yeah so she's the she's the queen of the house okay mother Mother, what? we have a very important question. Okay. How do we manage our financially? Um, we work. Yeah. Yeah, we work, we vlog, we have a small business, and that's how we manage our finance, okay? Another big tip that I can tell you, if you are married, couples, do not spend money as you want. Please talk to your wife or talk to your husband, and decide together all right maybe your wife is making more than you or your husband is making more than you doesn't matter when you're married accountability is so important when it comes to spending money okay so for like me and Emma if I'm gonna spend more than a thousand then 
that's where I need to talk to my wife that's where she need to talk to me example right but for 10 15 rupees it's okay right Didi for a small amount it's okay but when it comes to big it's always nice to talk right sure. and Didi say sure thanks for the question very good we are heading home now but in the meanwhile we will still continue to respond there are a few more questions not much anymore so the question is why don't you Emma and Sabrina spend more quality time with your parents Jerry I have been watching well we are all stuck here okay but we are coming once we come to India they will see my parents my parents will see them okay we have no choice until the visa is approved yeah that's the reason are we coming home for the Christmas in December yes that's the plan this time our plan is to go to Nagaland for the Christmas right, we are not far from our home now but we have last one more question and that can be the last one okay mother okay honey all right so the question is to Emma okay this question is to Emma my question is Emma how much did you miss Jerry when he was in India how much let's see how much did you miss well, is it like on a scale of one to ten or like Say it. I miss. I, I missed him. I don't, <laughs> you have to. You have to tell me like what. What am I leveling up to? Like how much? Did I, I missed him. I missed him a lot. What? That yeah, was that supposed to mean? <laughs> yeah. On a scale of one to ten, I missed him a ten. <laughs> yeah. And the same person is asking again. How much did you spend money while traveling to U.S. Last time was quite a lot. Uh, I, I don't exactly know it was more than a lakh, I will say. This time was less than a lakh because last time was still in the pandemic, right? So it was expensive. This time, uh, less than one lakh, okay? Also, it said, bro mentioned my name. Chong Cookie. Thank you for the question. <laughs> Peanut, that egg is not for eating. Oh, oh that's a... Uh, Blue egg. Honey, we're not See? eating <laughs> This is not painted. This is from the chicken. Okay, fresh blue. This is not white, yeah? This is blue, right, honey? Yeah. Yeah, blue. blue. Oh, Pina, don't drop. Don't drop. Don't drop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, she's squeezing it. <laughs> I know. All right, guys. This is it. Okay, this was the question that you guys have raised. Like I said, some of the questions are quite similar. So we picked the same answer to respond to it, right? Yeah. So we will do Q&A again in the future, but for this, let's end from here. Thank you once again for all your beautiful questions. We hope that we answer all your questions. Tired, ne? So keep loving, keep supporting. Signing off from Jerry and Emma. Bye-bye.